I have a question for you. Let's just say hypothetically you're living on a farm, you've just slaughtered like 50 ducks, and now you need to figure out what to do with them. What might you do? The answer is make duck confit, which is a very traditional method from the southwest of France, in which you take the duck, usually the legs, because the dark meat handle long, slow cooking really well, you cure them lightly, and then you very slowly cook them in their own liquefied fat. Here's the thing though, that is a really impractical thing to do at home. It works on farms, it works in restaurants, but at home, do you really want to store that much liquid duck fat just to confit some legs for fun sometimes? Who has that much duck fat at home? I used to. I used to and then I dropped it on the floor. You could drop your duck fat on the floor too. What's really cool with sous vide is you don't need any rendered duck fat at all. You take your duck legs, you put them in the plastic bag, you seal the bag, you suck all the air out, and because you've sucked all the air out, when you very slowly cook the duck legs in the hot water bath, when the fat renders, it does submerge them all around, 360 degrees. Here's how you do it. I need my duck. Yeah, da 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 da. Salt very generously. In a traditional cone feed, the duck is cured a little, a little bit, so it's okay to have a slightly heavy hand with the salt. There's almost nothing else to do. I just am gonna chop up a couple cloves of garlic, basically one clove per duck leg, and I've got some thyme. This is a special cutting technique called using the base of your hand to stabilize a warped cutting board. I'll rub the garlic onto the duck, this is a very loosey-goosey thing. And this is probably gonna fall off, but we'll do it for now. Time. All I have to do is put my duck into my vacuum sealer bag. You would just use whatever vacuum sealer you have at home, or you could use a zipper lock bag and use the water displacement method where you dip the bag into a vessel of water to push air out and then seal it. In go the duck legs. And we'll slide this here. This is my favorite part. <gasps> there we go. Okay. Here I have two vacuum sealed duck legs, seasoned with salt, rubbed with a little garlic, some thyme in there. And now it's time to put it in my hot water bath. After rounds and rounds of testing, I found that the perfect combination of temperature and time for sous vide duck confit is a 155 degree Fahrenheit water bath and a 36 hour cooking time. If you don't have that time, you can raise the water temperature to 170 and run it for eight hours. 36 hours is definitely a long time, but it's time completely unattended, so all you have to do is plan far enough in advance. You can run this thing while you're at work, while you're sleeping, it's no problem. So all we have to do is lower this vacuum sealed duck into the water bath, where the heat will begin to render the fat that is on the legs. As that fat renders, it will coat the legs in the bag, and since there's almost no air in the bag, it's gonna be pressed up all against the duck, and you have essentially simulated duck submerged in its own fat in this bag. So this just has to run for 36 hours. The good news is I have some already made. We're gonna get that, whoop, right here. Two duck legs, tender as can be. And as you can see, in the little bit of space that there is, it's rendered duck fat. So to finish these off, take them out of the bag. I wanna be gentle with these at this point because it's very easy to tear the skin. Come on out, little ducks. Scrape off any congealed fat and juices. I'll flip these skin side up. If you heat it up and skim off the fat, you can save the fat. That is delicious duck fat that is great for roasting potatoes or you know, cooking stuff, vegetables, sauteing vegetables. It's not enough to make a traditional confit, but it is enough to have some fun in the kitchen. All right, I'm just gonna put these in the oven. Uh, I've got a 450 degree oven, nice and hot to get these heated through and start crisping the skin up. Boom. I think it's time. A little bit smoky, get ready. 
Whoa, yeah. That duck fat smokes. I guess you need to open your windows at home. Okay. Very hot. Hot and crispy. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, crispy on the bottom. I kind of just want to eat it right off the tray. Can I eat it? Seriously, can I eat it? Oh my God. It's fork tender. Fork tender. <laughs> it's so good. It's just extraordinary. Mm. Daniel's turned me on to duck. This is so worth the 36 hour wait. <laughs>